Welcome everyone to the call. Thank you so much for joining. It's absolutely amazing that we've already got over 1,400 people on the call tonight. That's <laughs> that is really absolutely incredible. Um, I don't think we ever expected to get so many people on this first call. So thank you so, so much for joining. Um, just while um, uh, a few more people are joining us, um, uh, if you are, just to say, if you're joining um, via a laptop or desktop computer, um, please introduce yourself in the chat box. I can see that so many of you have been doing that already. That's absolutely amazing. Um, tell us where you're from and also tell us um, if you're involved in the 2017 general election campaign or whether this will be the first election campaign that um, you've been involved with. Um, if you're calling in by phone, unfortunately, you won't be able to use the chat box during the call, but don't worry, we still know you're there and it's really, really great that you've been able to call in. Um, also, uh, whilst we're just waiting, just before we begin, um, just to say that if you have any questions throughout the call, please go to peoplesmomentum.com and click on the small icon with a speech bubble, um, ask your question and um, a volunteer from our support team will get back to you really soon. So if we're ready to go, um, I'll kick things off. So welcome again everyone to tonight's urgent organising call for the upcoming general election. Woo! I'm Claire and I work at Momentum um, and I'll be moderating the call this evening and joining me is Callum who also works at Momentum. Hello. Um, so I'm so excited, I'm continuing to watching the numbers going up on this. We've got <laughs> almost 1,500 people on the call now which is so, so incredible. Um, this is by far the largest mobilising call in British political history. Um, so we're incredibly Ooh. excited. Um, it's also really good to see people on the chat um, saying that they haven't campaigned in an election before. A particularly big welcome to you guys. Really, really great that you're joining us. Um, the next six weeks are going to be some of the most important weeks of our lives. In this election, we have a really, really big opportunity to get a Corbyn-led Labour government elected and transform our covenant, um, country for the many. And tonight we're going to be talking about how we're going to make that happen. Um, before we get started, I just want to give a really quick overview of what we'll be talking about tonight and the fantastic guests that we've got joining us on the call. Um, so first up, we'll be hearing from Ash Sarkar, who's going to be telling us why this election is um, the most important election of a lifetime and how we're going to transform the country if we win. Uh, then we're going to be hearing from Chloe, who also works at Momentum, who's going to be explaining how you can start getting organised right now and how you can start organising your friends to get organised too. Uh, then we're going to be hearing from Callum, um, who's going to be explaining our plan to win. This is a plan that we at Momentum have been working for months on, which lays out how we're going to reach millions of voters between now and polling day, um, and which we're also going to be sending out by email to you all immediately after the call. It's really important that every single one of us understands the strategy before going into this election, so make sure that you're really paying attention to that. And finally, we're going to be hearing from none other than the leader of the Labour Party and Britain's next Prime Minister, Jeremy Corbyn, so get excited about that. Overall, this call should last uh, less than an hour. Um, before we get started, um, there are two really, really important things that we need to do right now. Number one, if you're not already on Momentum's list, that's if you don't already receive emails from Momentum, we need you to sign up so that we can get in contact with you to tell you about campaigning opportunities near you and help you make the biggest impact possible as part of the campaign. Once you've done so, post in the chat box and let us know. Um, if you already receive our emails, that's fantastic, you're all good to go. Number two, in order to make our plan to win a reality, we need money. Now, thanks to your donations, we've already smashed our first fundraising target of raising 50K in 48 hours. In fact, we raised over 100,000 pounds in just the first 12 hours of the campaign, which is absolutely incredible. Um, so thank you so, so, so much to all of you who've donated so far. But in order to win this election, um, we need to be able to take on the Tories. Now, the Tories have already got a huge 5 million in their election war chest. We're now trying to raise £200,000 by the end of Sunday in order that we can match them. So if you can, please, please chip in now um, at the address that we're posting in the chat box. Um, for those of you who can't see the chat box, that address is bit.ly forward slash 200 by Sunday. Um, just again to say, if you have any questions during the call, then please go to peoplesmomentum.com um, and you'll be able to use our live chat function there. Um, and one of our um, brilliant volunteers from our support team will be able to get back to you. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Ash. Hey, um, I don't know if Labour is planning on renationalising energy companies because this election has got me gas. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. There's going to be so many more of those cringy jokes and they're going to keep coming until socialism happens. So that's your main incentive to get out there and get campaigning. Um, it is incredible that so many people are on this chat. It's over 1,500. 
and not one of you is my absentee father mad um thank you thank you for joining us um i suppose the thing that i want to say is to reiterate what claire said that these are going to be the most important six weeks of your lives and don't listen to the naysayers and the doom and gloomers. Don't listen to like the cynical hacks from the Westminster bubble. The next six weeks, as well as being, yeah, in places difficult or a bit tiring, it's also going to be really fun. It's also going to be really amazing. One of the things I was thinking about today, just on a very personal level, is that since 2010, when the Tories first came into power, that was when I started uni and uh, they trebled tuition fees. That was like, the slalom into political activism from me and i went from being like a first year clutching my like copy of chaucer to you know becoming part of a really vibrant left-wing movement and it was because of that i made all the friends that i've made and i've met the people who inspire me and challenge my thinking and people particularly lobby journalists and that kind of oh, like world weary sw1 uh, you know, hacks is that they're going to make you feel that the process of being politically active is somehow draining or a chore. It's not. It is the opportunity of a lifetime to get out there and make your most deeply held beliefs and political values a political reality. That's amazing. And what the Tories want is to depress voter turnout. Fundamentally, they want a low turnout. If they had their way, it would be only like radicalized pensioners who could vote and not the brown ones either. Um, you know, they want to make it difficult for you to participate in the democratic process. That's why they've never been in favor of votes for 16 year olds. That's why they tried and thankfully haven't succeeded in uh, making mandatory voter ID and necessity at the ballot box. Those aren't the signs of a political party that's confident in their ideas. Those are the signs of a political party that's confident on its grip on power. And that's a very, very different thing. Because yes, 100%, we are all the underdogs going into this general election. We don't have the money. We don't have our feet under the table at number 10. But what we've got is a shit ton of dedicated activists who are willing to go out there and make the case for real change in this country. Um, if you watch the news, people are going to say, oh, there's no way that Labour can do it. There's no way that Jeremy Corbyn's polling numbers are going to pick up. Well, one, Robert Peston, the only poll that matters is on election day. And two, we are in a much better position than we were in 2017. Like, I remember those polling numbers. They were dire. Like, the day that the snap election was called, uh, I'd been on, like, a three-day bender because it was my birthday, and so I just had the worst hangover in the world, and then suddenly was, like, put on College Green to debate this guy from UKIP about a snap election because I was too short. They put me on this box to stand next to him. So I was there, like, sweating rum and misery, and they were like, how do you think Labour's going to do in this election? And I was like, oh, it's going to be awful. Labour are going to get smashed. There's going to be a Tory majority for the rest of my life. Ugh. And I was wrong. Like, everyone else who went up and did the news that day, apart from, like, Diane Abbott, I was wrong. And I've never been more pleased to be wrong. And the reason why in 2017 the left were able to defy expectations was because of the number of people who got out there pounding pavements, knocking on doors, making phone calls. Um, someone told me today that, you know, activists had knocked over a million doors in 2017. A million doors, no arrests, amazing. Um, one in three Facebook users saw a momentum video. Like that's the kind of brand saturation that like Ariana Grande can only dream of. Like honestly, it's amazing. And because of that, Labour made up the biggest increase in vote share since 1945, truly historic stuff. It was a huge electoral upset. Uh, I remember the feeling of when, you know, the sort of exit polls came through, complete chaos. A friend of mine like literally flung a pizza across the room out of joy and celebration um and imagine that feeling times 10 when after 
weeks of being out there in the cold, drinking mold everything, leafleting anything with a gap in it, we see the news that Labour have won a majority. Um, and yeah, just before I wrap up, because I feel I've been like rabbiting on a lot and just being like, oh, like socialism gas man. Uh, we can do this. We can win. We've defied expectations before and we can again. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to make the arguments backed up by one of the strongest policy agendas in living memory. You know, out there, the country has been suffering under 10 years of Tory rule. And the only thing that they've got to offer people is like blue passports and the potential to like bring back hanging. Those are the only ideas that they've got. And what have we got? We've got free social care for the elderly. We've got a Green New Deal, which, you know, once you break it down, is the return of quality jobs with decent pay to those areas of the country which have been completely ravaged by decades of deindustrialization and neoliberalism. We've got free childcare for those of us who then, you know, because climate change has been averted, maybe we'll want to get knocked up. Uh, we've got a national education service. We've got the ability to go to university without drowning in debt. These are all wonderful, positive things. So just like before I leave you, I want to say like, don't listen to the naysayers in the media. They were all wrong in 2017. They were all wrong in 2016. And they've probably been wrong for a long time before that, but they've not really had anyone to tell them to their face. And the likelihood is, is that they'll be wrong again. And the reason why they'll be wrong again is because they've done what they've always done, which is underestimate all of you lot. And more for them, I'm going to mute myself now. I'm going to hand back over to Claire and Callum. By the way, you're both looking super cute tonight. I don't know what the lighting Ash, is in the so moment in the office. <laughs> Ash, thank you so, so much. Um, yeah, I mean, Ash is completely right. We really, really can win this. And it's also so great to see everyone in the chat box who also knows that we can win this. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, this is, yeah, so incredibly exciting. Um, we've still got over 1,500 of you on the call. This is really just incredible. Uh, just to say also that while Ash was speaking, we've had over 6,000 pounds of donation come in, donations come in, which is, <laughs> which is, Honestly, like you guys are like knocking it out of the park. This is this is so so incredible. Thanks so so much to all of you who are chipping in. Keep it coming. Uh, next up, we're going to be hearing from Chloe, um, who is just here. Um, hey. Chloe also works at Momentum, and she's going to be explaining how you can start getting organised right now, and how you can be helping getting your friends involved in the election campaign too. Amazing. Thank you so much, Claire. Ash is completely right. The way we are going to win this election is with people power. Um, and that is why one of the most important things you can do in the election is to mobilise your friends and your family and get them involved in our campaign. So in 2017, I had never been canvassing before. I wasn't a Labour Party member. I really wanted Jeremy Corbyn to win. I really hated the Tories, but I had no campaigning experience. I'd never done any activism. So about two weeks into that campaign, my friend Savannah sent an email to about 12 of us, basically just saying this election is going to be really important and we have to get out and canvas. Um, she sent a link to Momentum's online campaign map and a couple of other key resources. After that, she messaged inviting us to a few specific canvases and to join a Facebook group. So because of those messages, I started going out and campaigning. And by the end of the election, I was heading down on my own to Battersea <laughs> after work every night, didn't need my friends with me, met loads of new amazing people along the way. Um, and I was really, really, really involved in the campaign. Uh, so we need every single person in our movement to do what Savannah did. Uh, we need every single one of you to mobilize just a few of your friends and ask them to step up and do everything they can to get Jeremy Corbyn into power. Uh, there are so many people out there who do want to bring down Boris Johnson and who do want to see a Labour government, but some of them just need a little bit of a nudge or maybe a group of friends to go along with to get them out campaigning. Um, so we're asking everyone on this Zoom call to start what's called a Let's Go group. This might be a WhatsApp group. Why are you laughing, Callum? Have you seen the chat? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's happening in the chat? I was just talking about chairs for Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll you can chat. Well, okay. <laughs> Only on the socialism. We got a chair. We got a chair. That's peak socialism. 
Uh, anyway, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, we want all of you on this call to start a Let's Go group. Uh, so it might be a WhatsApp group with three of your friends, so you can coordinate going canvassing together because obviously it's more fun with your friends. It might be an email thread to people you know who haven't canvassed before. It could be a Facebook group where you share all the information about canvassing sessions, phone banks, and street stalls. If you're listening to this and thinking like, oh, I don't think I'd be able to do that, that's fine, because when you go canvassing, you'll meet people who are running these groups and you'll get involved in them. Um, but yeah, we, we need everyone to do what they can. So if you're up for starting a group like this, uh, you, you can organize it in whichever way you think best. We just need you to fill the form that's coming out in the chat box now. Um, if you can't see the chat box, the link is bit.ly forward slash let's go GE19. Um, but the link should keep coming out in the chat box. So look out for it. Uh, it's really helpful for us to know how many of these groups we can get up and running, where they're going to be based. Uh, and the form, I promise you, is like super, super short. It takes less than a minute to fill in. Uh, so you can do it right now while you're on this call. Um, if you fill in the form, we'll send you up a follow e email. I have some useful resources in it um, and like offers of support for starting Let's Go groups. Uh, so yeah, the form's really quick and easy to fill out. So please do just make sure you fill it out now. Um, once you fill it out, you'll notice there's two options. The first is a regular Let's Go group. So this is perfect if you want to make a group with a few friends who you think will be up for going canvassing together. Um, I'm going to be starting them up with some of my friends who are not really that involved yet, but I know I think I can get out um, if a bit with a bit of persuasion. Um, so the other option of organizing is a Let's Go super group. Uh, these are much bigger groups, which can have a much more strategic approach. So last election, some people ran groups like these really successfully and succeeded in mobilizing hundreds of people. So the most effective of these groups started with a few friends and or comrades who met up. They made it, they like actually planned out how they're going to mobilize during the election. Um, they planned things like design their own resources, running street stalls, and by the end of it, they had over 300 members. Um, so there were groups like this already starting up over the country. Uh, we just need to make sure that we have as many of them as possible and they're mobilizing as effectively as possible to help us win. Uh, so if you are interested in setting up a super group, there'll be a further Zoom call to discuss strategy and to give you some ideas. But for now, all you need to do is fill out the form. Uh, so yeah, whether it's a normal group or a super group, just make sure you fill out the form. Uh, so yeah, these groups can be really, really impactful. Um, it is about people power. That is how we are going to win this election. Ooh. And a really, really, really important part of that is mobilizing your friends. So we definitely do want 100 super groups, but we also need thousands and thousands of much smaller ones. Um, and if everyone on this call can just get a couple of friends out who wouldn't be out otherwise, um, get them out regularly canvassing, it's gonna make such a big difference. So everyone who fills in the form will get a follow-up email with all the information you'll need. Uh, for now, all you have to worry about is filling in the form. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much. Really great to be able to dip into this call. Thank you so much, Claire, for sharing your chair. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my computer now, but I'll be posting in the uh, in the links in the chat box. Um, so yeah, really great to speak to you. Great. Uh, thanks so much to Chloe. Um, so uh, as Chloe said, the form that you need to fill out if you want to start a Let's Go group uh, is being posted in the chat box again now. But that link is bit.ly um, bit.ly forward slash Let's Go G19. Um, yeah, so that's the first thing that we need, to, need you to get involved with. So please, please, please go off and do that. Um, so next up on the call, we're going to be hearing from Callum, who's going to be explaining our plan to win. All right. Thanks, Claire. This is so exciting. Um, honestly, I had high expectations for this call, but you're blowing out the water. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll say sorry to, to Chloe for Chairgate. Um, you know, I don't think we're going to live that one down in the near future. But as, as Claire said earlier, it's really important that every single one of us understands our plan to win as we're going into this election. Um, there are going to be three main parts to our strategy for beating the Tories, which I'm going to run through quickly now. So the first part of our strategy is going to be building people power. So Boris Johnson's campaigning strategy relies on having millionaires and the media on his side. We, on the other hand, have hundreds of thousands of people across the country, people just like you, inspired by Labour's vision for transforming the country and ready to make small donations and volunteer huge amounts of time to the campaign. So people power can beat millionaires in the media. And in this election, it's up to every single one of us to prove that. So that means that in this election, we're not just knocking doors. We need to organise all the ways we can. We need to organize hundreds of phone bank parties. We need to organize hundreds of voter registration events. We need to build huge online volunteer teams. We need to put on hundreds of trainings for new activists. We need to raise thousands of pounds in small donations, hundreds of thousands of pounds in small donations, and so much more. So I think we need to use every tool at our disposal, and we need to make the best use of the huge amount of talent and hard work in our movement. So this election really is the, the chance of a lifetime, and we need you to give all that you can. So the second part of our strategy is going to be targeting marginal seats. 
So we need to be strategic about where we're going to focus our campaigning. There are a number of seats across the country last year that were lost and won at the last election by just a few thousand votes. And there were actually 11 seats which are won by fewer than 100. So these are what we call marginal seats. And it's in these constituencies, places like Chingford and Wood Green, uh, Manfield, Mansfield and uh, Southampton Itchin, that the election is going to be won or lost. Um, this is where we need to focus our firepower on dealing marginal seats, a huge blow, wiping the Tories out. And that's where we're likely to win um, seats and defend ones that the Tories are going for. So in the 2017 general election, Momentum focused our firepower on a number of key marginals, including like Battersea, Brighton, Kemp Town, uh, and Crewe and Nantwich. And we won them from the Tories. So now we need to do this again and on a much, much bigger scale. Tory donors, obviously, are planning to pour millions of pounds into marginal seats at this election, but we can beat them if we campaign strategically. So the best way to persuade people to vote Labour is through face-to-face -face conversations. We've calculated that in the 150 most marginal constituencies in the country, there are around 2 million target doors that we'll need to knock over the next six-week election period. So the number of doors a person could knock in a day varies depending on a number of factors, but we estimate that on average a person can knock on about 50 doors a day. That means we need over 5,000 of you to do eight full days of door knocking over the course of the election period in order for us to win. So this might sound like a lot, but there's no doubt that together we can do it. At the last election, we flooded marginal constituencies on polling day, swinging key seats for Labour and defying the polls. In the recent Peterborough by-election, we actually got 1,000 people knocking doors for Labour and won the seat against all the odds. So now we need to do that again, except unlike 2017, we won't be asking you to go to your nearest marginal. This time our campaign um, will be much more data driven and we'll be encouraging you to go to the marginals that need you the most. Where your need will be calculated based on a number of factors, including like where you are in the country and what marginals in your area. So we're going to be smarter than ever before. We're only going to send you to a seat if we really need you to go there and we think you can make a huge impact. We're not going to have any wasted time. We're going to make sure that every single minute you're spending on the doors is going to have the biggest impact possible. Right. So we want every time you're putting on your shoes, you're putting on your warm coat, you're getting a hot chocolate and you're going out on the doorstep to sing Christmas carols, that you are absolutely getting the most um, for each hour. So finally, the third part of our strategy um, is about you stepping up. So at the last election, we asked you to canvas, take the day off on polling day and phone bank for Labour. So this was really effective at swinging key marginal constituencies. But in this election, we're going to ask you to step up and go a bit bigger. So this time, we're taking a, a volunteer-driven approach to our campaign called Distributed Organising. So this is based on the experiences of the Bernie Sanders campaign in the US. Uh, some of the people on the call, I'm sure there are some people here who are in the... Uh, fantastic live chat support team. Um, Chloe uh, also runs teams. We're, we're building these teams into the middle of our, of our structure. Um, and we're gonna ask you to step up and become organizers, dedicate significant time and resources to campaigning and run some of those most important parts of our election operation. So over the last few weeks, we've been building the systems and infrastructure we need so that thousands of you can step up during this election. We need you to organize carpools to marginal constituencies. We need to organize phone bank parties in your living room. We need you to organize voter registration street stores in your community. We need you to run huge online volunteer teams. We need you to run trainings for first time activists just like Chloe was last election and so much more. I mean, this time round, you are Labour's secret weapon and it's only by stepping up your commitment that we'll win. So what are we actually gonna do? What are the concrete programs that are part of our plan to win? Well, first, we're going to relaunch our digital map. So it's going to be called mycampaignmap.com. Um, and this is the map that's going to do all that kind of clever targeting that will help you find the marginal seat that you need most. So we're going to support you to organize your own phone bank parties. Uh, so across the country, you can bring people into your own home. You can bring your friends in. You can bring people you've met um, through kind of late party organizing and just phone bank literally in your living room. And it doesn't matter if you're in a, in, in a marginal constituency or you're somewhere safe. You can have an impact in a marginal just by getting on the phone. Um, as well as that, we want you to run your own events. So we're going to provide resources, training and promotion for you to do that kind of stuff, not just phone banking, but other varieties of events as well. We're also going to be running a huge voter registration drive aimed at young people. Um, including our new digital tool, univotes.co.uk. Um, and we're also going to be doing campus tours in marginals across the country. So literally, if there's a university in a marginal seat, we're going to go visit it. We're going to get young people signed up, not only to vote, but also to volunteer. You know, we've got huge amounts of support amongst the student population. We want to make sure that we can make the most of that. We're also going to be really ramping up our video operation in this election. So in 2017, as I said earlier, we managed to reach one in three Facebook users with our video. Um, that was with three members of staff. 
Uh, and this election, we're going to go so much bigger. So we're going to have more staff producing more videos, getting to more people. So we're really going to fight the battle on social media. Um, we're also going to be launching those online volunteer teams, the support team, the calling team um, that we've already been using. Um, and those will give you a chance to get involved in some of the re really key part, like functional parts of our campaign. So not just, you know, knocking doors, but also running our central operation um, and doing kind of key functions that we need to get done in order for the campaign to keep moving forwards. We've also already set up a digital army, um, which many of you may be a part of, um, which is helping us beat media barons and set the news agenda during the election by making key moments go viral on social media. And that's the kind of innovative use of WhatsApp and messaging that we really want to keep driving forward as we go across the election. So we're going to be ramping up our training network as well and offering online training so we can get more of you campaigning than ever before. There's no need to feel scared of going out and canvassing. We want everyone to feel confident of taking Labour arguments to the doorstep. And finally, we're asking you to step up. So we're going to run a campaign specifically to recruit those of you who can work on the campaign full time for at least a week and support you to make the biggest possible difference by either volunteering with Momentum, the party, or in a marginal. Um, there's so much more that we're gonna be announcing over the coming days. Uh, this campaign is gonna be incredibly exciting, but that should give you kind of an idea of what we've got planned. So do let us know in the chat how you wanna get involved, um, and we'll have all those details going out to you, particularly um, if you're on the email list, that's how you're gonna get everything, yeah? Cool. Thanks so much, Caleb, that was, yeah, I mean, I'm so, so excited about all the plans that we've got. Um, for uh, this election. Um, it's also really, really great to see that, wow, 193 <laughs> people on the call have already agreed Sick. to set up a Let's that's Go so group. Wow. Guys, that's, that is a round of applause. That's, I think that's absolutely amazing. So I, yeah, I think, let's, how about we aim to get 250 people signed up by the end of the call? That'll be absolutely fantastic. So if you haven't already, um, please, please, please go to that link that was. Um, Come on, we can do it. Too <laughs> please, 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 if go. we get two hundred and fifty, we will give Chloe a chair. That's, okay? that's, that's, that's our promise. promise. Um, yeah, so let's aim to get two hundred and fifty people uh, signed up before the end of the call. Um, please, please, please go to that um, link uh, that we posted up earlier. That link is bit.ly forward slash let's go GE19. Um, in just a few moments, we're going to be joined by uh, none other than Jeremy Corbyn himself. Um, but before we go to him, I want to explain um, another really key thing that we need you guys to do right now. So as Cal just explained, in order to knock on 2 million doors, we need over 5,000 people to do eight full days of door knocking over the election period. This sounds like a lot, but we can definitely, definitely do it. So this means that if you work, we need you to take time off work in order to campaign for Labour. So we realize that this is a big ask, but if we're gonna win, we're all gonna to have to really, really go for this. So we want you to take as much time off work as you can, but the best time to take time off work um, over the six week election period is the last two weeks before polling day. So that's roughly between the 28th of November and the 12th of December, which is polling day. So we want you to step up right now and commit to taking time off work to Canvas for Labour. If you're up for it, that's absolutely fantastic. Please let us know in the chat box right now. Over the next couple of days, we're going to be launching a proper campaign to recruit those of you who've committed to take time off work. So keep your eyes peeled for that. So we're just going to be waiting a few more minutes um, before Jeremy gets on the call. He's just coming off the stage um, from a big rally and no doubt he'll be you know, already talking to loads and loads of people. Um, so we're just going to hold on a couple of minutes for that. Just to say that um, the plan to win is already live on a website. So if you want to go and look at that, there's um, a big... Um, uh, uh, yeah, you can see all the kind of um, uh, things that we're going to be doing in the campaign on there in more depth. Um, Callum ran through a lot um, uh, just earlier, but if you want to go and check it out, please do. Um, the link is being posted in the chat box just now. Um, I imagine that a lot of you might have questions, um, so I'm a little bit scared about going for questions, but let's go for it anyway. <laughs> if you have any questions, um, why don't you post them in the chat box just now, um, and we'll try and answer them. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> I feel like I'm on like a game show. I know. Oh, I'm the chat up on me. Training, training. Okay. Um, oh, there's already people saying they're going to take weeks off. That's, That's so amazing. great. That's so great. That's really exciting. Oh my God, it's maybe moving a bit fast. So well, when will the 2019 manifesto be released? So we don't know that exactly yet, um, but we, we're guessing that it'll probably be um, a couple of weeks into the campaign, so maybe a couple of weeks from now. Um, so that will be when we know exactly what Labour is going to be um, uh, fighting for in this election. That's a really, really exciting moment. Um, once that manifesto is announced, we're going to be um, organising trainings so that um, as many of us as possible feel really confident about speaking about the manifesto on the doorstep. Um, so yeah, 
that's when that's going to be launched. We're really, really excited about that. So there was a question about the overseas vote there. Um, so it's really important, all the volunteer teams we're running, so be there the calling team, the texting team, the support team, the research team, the data entry team, those are just a few of the functional teams we've got going, uh, and they are all recruiting internationally. Um, so we've already got loads of people volunteering with some of those from, you know, Labour International from all over the place. And we really want to keep driving that. So if the question is, you know, how do we organise with people who are international? It's no barrier not being in the UK. You can still get stuck into the campaign. You just have to get involved with our functional teams uh, and kind of volunteer that way. What else have we got? Ooh, lots and lots of questions coming in. So there's someone saying, never canvas before, a bit nervous. Any tips and tricks? So if you never canvas before, that's we're really, really great that you want to do it. That's absolutely yeah. amazing. Um, if the first time you go out canvassing, you'll definitely be teamed up with a really, really experienced canvasser. So it's not like you're going to be sent out onto the doorstep completely cold, you know, feeling really unprepared. Um, there'll be lots and lots of people there who have done lots of canvassing before and they'll be able to help you. Um, yeah, so really don't worry about that. Um, yeah, we're just really excited that you're keen to get involved. Yeah, I mean, when I went out canvassing for the first time, I can remember it seems like there's like processes to go through and you've got to like remember what people have said and you just get a number and go to a door. And at first, when you're working with someone, they seem to know the system so well and you don't really know how it works at all. But honestly, all it takes is about half an hour and suddenly you're ready to like go up, have the conversations, convince people um, and then come back. I mean, you're all on this call because you care about politics, right? Everyone, all of us have something to say about politics, whether it be a personal story or kind of arguments. Um, to kind of go against what um, the Tories are saying. We all have that material in our heads. It's just a case of being confident and getting a chance to express that because really, you know, it's just a face-to-face -face conversation. Like canvassing sounds like it's some special thing, but it's just talking to people. It's the same as talking to someone on the bus, right? But you're, you're talking about politics, something you know and care about and something that impacts everyone's everyday lives. So if canvassing sounds scary, don't worry. Like we all need to get out there. Um, it's never gonna, you know, you've got to take the jump. It's never gonna be less scary. Um, but really, honestly, there is nothing to be worried about uh, when you get a chance to talk to people about politics. If anything, you know, Ash was saying earlier, you meet amazing th people yeah, through you politics, do. you meet your friends. I, all of my closest friends, I pretty much know through politics. But that process is all about just talking to other people. Yeah, yeah, it comes absolutely right. Um, it's also really good to see um, loads of you are posting the plan to win in the chat so that other people can see. Um, just, yeah, just to reiterate, um, just while I was waiting for Jeremy to get on the call, if you go to plantowin.peoplesmomentum.com, then you'll be able to see a really full plan for what we're going to do during the general election. Um, Callum went through a lot of things just now. We're also going to be um, announcing more things that Callum didn't mention um, um, really, really soon. So get excited for that. Um, so we have got 288 people sound up, signed up wow. for, the, for the groups. Woo! Woo! <laughs> 291 <laughs> people oh signed God, up for the so groups. Make it 300. Okay, yeah, we can definitely get 300. We can get, we can easily get 300. Do you want to come back on and chat about what the groups are, Chloe? <laughs> we'll give you a chair this time. Yeah, you can have a chair. Come on. All to yourself. Thanks. Thanks. Wow, I really am moving up in the world. Um, so yeah, quick reminder, especially if anyone's like arrived late or had to drop out for a bit. Uh, let's go groups basically just give me a whatsapp group a facebook group an email thread is you asking your friends asking people you know asking your family to come out canvassing with you it makes the biggest difference it's how i went canvassing for the first time now i go all the time um and yeah mobilizing your friends because this election is going to be about people power is basically like up there as one of the most important things you can do so please all do it please all let us know you're doing it um it's going to be really really great thanks what was the, what, what was the stretch goal that we just set uh, uh, we, well, we're now well, on 296. I think uh, who go... wants to be number 300? That's a, that's a race. <laughs> I think we should go high. I think we should go for 350. Yeah, oh, yeah. I feel like we need 350. there's a lot of energy on this call. I definitely think we can get to 350. So those, <laughs> of, you, those of you who are just kind of wavering, this is your time now. Fill in the form. It just takes a couple of minutes. Um, and then someone is going to be in touch with you really, really soon um, to uh, tell you how we're going to do it, if you want any support with it. Um, any more questions coming in on the chat? just a few minutes away so jeremy is is very close to being on the call he's just a couple of minutes away he is coming as fast as possible <laughs> understandably a bit of a busy man at the moment um, so what other questions have we got um yes you can do phone banking from home you can yeah. also do it um, some clp is organize it uh, so you do it in a certain place but you can definitely do it from home what? Da, 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 da. um okay so oh, yeah. people are asking how do you volunteer to canvas with us um, so we have my campaign map. We referenced it earlier. It's going to be launched very, very soon. Tomorrow. Claire, it's going to be launched. Yeah. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Fingers crossed. So Claire, do you want to give an overview of what my campaign map is? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, at the last election, we had a digital map, which was really, really um, helpful for getting everyone out. Um, 
uh, this election, we're going to launch an upgraded version of the map. Um, so uh, this time, we're not just going to be getting you to go to your nearest marginal, we're going to be getting you to go towards the marginal that needs you most. So basically, you'll be able to go on the map, type in your postcode, and then you'll be able to see um, all the different kinds of events that are going on um, in modules that need you most, and you'll be able to pick ones that you want to go to. That will basically be the central hub for where we'll be um, telling everyone about all the different things that are going on in the campaign. One of the really good things about the map this year is that it's not going to be um, only us putting events on the map. You'll also be able to put your own events on the map, and that's what we really, really want you to do. So, you know, if you... Um, know that you want to organize a phone bank from your living room, for example, you can put that event on the map, people can find out about it, people can come to your phone bank. And it's also a really good way to just, you know, meet other um, labor supporters in your area. Um, but you know, it's not just phone banks, it'll be everything from socials to, um, you know, you might want to um, set up a special thing to canvas your commute. If you live in London, um, you might want to um, organize a coffee morning um, in your local community center in order to, you know, get people to talk to them um, about labor. And um, there's all different kinds of things you can do. And the map will be um, where everything is um, hosted. Uh, yeah, that's, that'll definitely be the main access point for um, everything that you want to do. Okay. Any other questions? Or Chloe, do we have an update on how many people? And definitely have an update. We have literally just hit 350. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, that it's got up to 352. This is these forms are just so. Do we have to go to four hundred? <laughs> we have to go to four hundred now, surely. I think we do. Okay, okay. We're let's. We'll post the link again. Is the link going on Facebook as well? The link, the link's oh, amazing! On Facebook. All right, everyone. That link is the one we want. Really want you filling in. That's how you're going to get stuck into the campaign. I'm loving the optimism in the chat. Five hundred groups, easy. I, I, I completely, <laughs> I, I completely agree. Whoever that is, easy, no problem. Um, yeah, we need to get more ambitious in our targets. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. people have been asking how to. How do you volunteer from home? Okay, so um, a big way that we want people to volunteer from home um, is in our volunteer teams. Um, so if you go to, the link is volunteer.peoplesmomentum, right, Joe? <laughs> volunteer.peoplesmomentum.com. Yeah. Volunteer that will take you to a special page, right? Now, it's not just for all kinds of volunteering. That's specifically for working in our functional teams. So in the, the teams that are like calling, you know, I've said them a few times, those teams require you only to work from home. You can be in another country, you can be wherever. We just use free online software to coordinate all that work. And what we basically try and do, I mean, some of our teams are like as big as a couple of hundred people now. And what they do is they take the power of the crowd and they go and apply it to a problem. So say we want to call every single Momentum member in the country and encourage them to get involved in the campaign. Well, that's completely possible. And in fact, we're already well into that task, right? Because we've got loads and loads of people calling over and over again. So my team, uh, the team I kind of organize with is the support team. So what we do is we take inbound communications. So that's, you know, email, Facebook, the live chat on the website. And we basically try and answer questions, deal with problems, talk to people about what Momentum's doing um, in order to make us as responsive as possible uh, to the general public. And that has allowed us to do things like launch a live chat. You know, that's never been something we've done before. And we're only able to do it because there are so many volunteers who understand that, you know, this election is a once in a lifetime choice. It's socialism and barbarism. And, and basically they've made their choice and they want to put work in. Um, in order to make sure that we get the right outcome. So if you can only work from home, if you're international, that's a fantastic way to get involved. And it's volunteer.peoplesmomentum.com. Uh, and that will specifically get you onto one of the teams. We're currently setting up a clipping team. So what the clipping team is going to do is basically watch um, all of like the news programs. So Daily Politics, Channel 4 News, whatever. They're going to watch all of those. Um, and then basically use like the clips they take from them. We're going to put them on social media and allow our video team to get out loads more content and make sure whenever, you know, a Labour MP makes a great point, um, we're going to have it plastered all over the place. Thanks, Callum. So I believe that we have now got the man himself, the leader of the Labour Party and our next Prime Minister, Jeremy Corbyn, on the call. Jeremy, are you there? Yes. Yay! <laughs> How are you? Good, I'm thank you. How are you? In a community centre in Harrow. <laughs> Just had a massive meeting of party members and supporters here with our candidate and a great atmosphere and great feeling there. And I've just come from a round table discussion with GMB members working for ASDA, whose jobs are being threatened because the company is unilaterally trying to change their contracts. And we had a good discussion about the threats they're under the way they have to work and the way in which uh, Walmart as a parent company is driving that agenda. And I pointed out to them what our policies are on workers' rights from 
full rights of work from day one, and sectoral bargaining, and all the issues that go with that. And uh, I think our campaigning is about engaging with people who are undertaking real life campaigns at the present time as well. And so our election campaign is getting underway. Today, I had Prime Minister's question time with um, Mr. Johnson, and I asked him about uh, US healthcare companies coming in to run our health service. He said that's not happening. And then asked him why, if that was the case, have there been so many meetings between his officials and US big pharma companies? I think we all know the reason for that. They are trying to offer up our public services to the US on a no deal Brexit and a free trade deal with the United States. We're not having any of that. And after that, there was a debate in Parliament about Grenfell. People died in Grenfell from a wholly preventable fire. And firefighters risked their lives to save people. Firefighters didn't deregulate our building industry. Firefighters didn't put flammable cladding around buildings. Firefighters are the ones that risked all. And so my support is there for the firefighters and the community. And in the memory of those that died, yes, let's have a memorial, that's fine, I agree with that. But let's have a, another memorial, and that is the end to flammable cladding around buildings. So in our election campaign, let's think about those two issues that we've just spoken about. Insecurity at work, zero hours contracts, over, over powerful employers that can play ducks and drakes with the workforce. Let's look also at people living in insecure private rented accommodation, living in blocks of flats where there is flammable cladding around. There are 60,000 people in the country that have got the same cladding as Grenfell and many others that have also dubious safety records on the cladding of their buildings. These are real life issues, real life campaigning, and that's part of what our election campaign is about. And our manifesto, when it comes out, it won't be long now, is an aggregation of all those campaigns, an aggregation of what people's real lives are about. So we have the National Education Service, we have the Rights at Work agenda, we have the Ministry of Employment Rights, we have the Green Industrial Revolution. So we have a Green Industrial Revolution, and it's reported in The Guardian that um, they've outsourced the writing of their manifesto to somebody from Quadrilla, the fracking company. Well, that <laughs> says it all. In this election campaign, nobody anywhere in this country will say there isn't a choice. There is a choice. Us, with our inclusive policies, us, with our green industrial revolution, us, with the end of austerity, us, with protecting public services and our national health service, us, with saying no child would ever be left behind in our education system because we'll have a national education service to make sure that doesn't happen. Or the Tories. Tax cuts for the richest, a continuation of austerity, and the bizarre behavior of a government both on the world stage as well as in this country. And Boris Johnson threatening to take us out of the EU with no deal and do a sweetheart trade deal with Donald Trump. Our campaigning is crucial. How we approach it is crucial. The inclusive way we approach it is crucial. And above all, it's not just knocking on doors and identifying how people vote. It's discussing with them the issues that face their community and empowering their communities. That's why I've been so proud of our community organizers in the party and so proud of the work Momentum has done in mobilizing people in this election. So I was here in Harrow today. We've got a win in Harrow. We've got a win in Mansfield. We've got a win in Inverclyde. We've got a win in Aberconroy. There's so many places we've got to win. And I will be going to pretty well all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and so today was just a little bit of a start. Half the day in Parliament, then I've been to a hospital in Crawley, and now here in Harrow, and then talking to you wonderful people. So be up for it. It's going to be cold. It's going to be wet. The weather will not be great. That, I promise you, after all, it is November coming up on Friday. But you'll look back on the winter of 2019 
as the time you delivered a government that didn't believe in free market economics and neoliberal thoughts, instead believed in people, believed in social justice, whose whole being is based on our socialist values. And you will have got cold and wet for a very good reason. <laughs> Are you up for it? Will you do it? Okay. <laughs> Jeremy, thank you so, so much. Can we have a round of applause for Jeremy, please? <laughs> Everyone, Jeremy's absolutely right. You know, you're going to look back at this winter and think, you know, this was the winter when, you know, I didn't stay at home. I was put out there. I was persuading people to vote for the Labour Party. And you're going to look back on it as one of the most exciting and empowering times of your life. So thanks again to Jeremy. Can I, can I explain where I am? Yeah, yeah please do. Yeah, go yeah. For it. This is the children's play area, uh, which is... I don't quite know why it's in darkness at the present time. And this is a sort of meeting area where we've had discussion. And outside we have this big rally. And so I'm going to go to lots of exciting places in this election campaign. And this is just one of them. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much again to Jeremy. Let's have another round of applause for the next Prime Minister of the UK. Woo! <laughs> All right. So that almost brings us to the end of our organising call. So it's so, so amazing that um, we've now got over 1,600 people um, who stayed to the end of the call and we've had over 12,000 pounds of donations come in, which is absolutely crazy. I really can't believe that we raised that much money just in the space of this call. Um, this, this whole election process has already been incredibly yeah, overwhelming. Um, and we've got a whopping 385 of you who signed up to become Let's Go Organisers. Guys, that's yeah, absolutely amazing. I think we can hit 400 by the end of the call. <laughs> that's just 15 more of you. We can definitely, definitely do it. So if you haven't signed up already, please go to bit.ly forward slash Let's Go GE19. Let's see if we can get to 400. That'd be so good. Um, so all these commitments, your donations, um, signing up to come Let's Go Organisers, these are all going to make such an incredible difference in this election. Um, and I really, really can't thank you enough for getting involved. Just before we finish, here's a final reminder of what we need you to do now so we can hit the ground running with this election campaign. So if you haven't already, please, please, please sign up to Momentum's email list. We need you to sign up so that we can get in contact with you to tell you about campaigning opportunities near you and help you make the biggest impact um, as part of this campaign. So to do this, you just need to head to peoplesmomentum.com and fill in your details on the website. It's really, really easy. It'll take you literally less than 20 seconds. Please do that now if you haven't already. We also really need you to step up and donate. So this is the most important election of a lifetime and we really need to raise 200,000 pounds by Sunday so that we can make our plan to win a reality. It's so, so great that so many of you donated on this call already. If you haven't, um, then please head to bit.ly forward slash 200 by Sunday, donate what you can, um, and then share that link on your Facebook page, on your Twitter, on your Instagram, everywhere, so that we can get as many people donating as possible. Number three, we also really, really need you to step up and become a Let's Go organizer. So we've got 385 so far. I'm going to wait and see if we've got... Oh my God. <laughs> we did it. 404. We've got 404 people already. That's amazing. 406. 406. Oh, if there are any stragglers who still want to um, uh, sign up before the end of the call, please do now. That'll, that'd be amazing. We'd really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, once you've done that, um, someone will be in touch soon to tell you about how um, to... Um, start your Let's Go group um, and give you any support that you need with that. And then finally, we really need you to take time off work in order to campaign over this election period. So the moment we finish this call or first thing tomorrow when you get into work, shoot an email to your manager or whoever it is that you need to speak to in order to make sure that you can get time off. Um, uh, ideally in the last two weeks of the election period, but whenever you can, um, so that we can get as many people out knocking on doors for Labour and beat the Tory machine. So those are the four things. Over the next couple of days, we're going to be launching a proper campaign to recruit those of you who've committed to take time off work, um, along with our revamp campaign map that's coming tomorrow, um, and a campaign to get loads of you running your own phone bank parties. So um, keep your eyes peeled for those. Um, once we're done with this call, we're also going to be sending out our full plan to win um, to everyone on our email list. I've got to say, it's looking absolutely fantastic. Yeah. We've been putting a lot of work into this. Um, and yeah, keep an eye on your inbox, in, on your inbox for that too. Um, if you have any questions after the call or anything that you might you think that we might be able to help with, then go to our website, send us a message on our live chat feature, and someone should get back to you shortly to help you. Thanks again so much to our special guests, Ash and Jeremy, for joining us on the call tonight. And thank you to, so I'm just going to check how many people we've got at the final count. We've still got around 1,500 people on the call. This is, so this is, this is amazing. Um, thank you so much to everyone um, yeah, who's joined us on guys. the call. 
Um, we're so, so excited about this election, really. Together we can win it. Have a great night. We're going to win! Woo! Socialism for Christmas! Woo!